I also have a factor of x minus 1 in the numerator and a factor of x minus 1 in the denominator. So I'm going to divide the numerator by x minus 1. I'm, also, I'm going to also divide the denominator by x minus 1. I have no other factors that are common to both the numerator and denominator. So therefore I will now give the answer by multiplying the numerators together, which would be x times x squared plus x plus 1. And multiplying the denominators together, which would be x plus 1 times x plus 2. Now you could write the answer if you wanted to, if you wanted to actually do the multiplication and write x cubed plus x squared plus x over x squared plus 3x plus 2, you could do that. Or you could actually multiply these together by using the full method on this one and distributive property on the first one but you're not required to. This answer is just as good. Let's look at another example. Let's look at 4a squared b divided by a minus b times b minus a divided by 8a cubed b cubed. Now, again, I have the a minus b, the b minus a deal. So I can write this as 4 a squared b over a minus b times a negative 1 times a minus b over 8 a cubed b cubed. Again, to change the order of the subtraction, I need to factor out a negative 1. To change the order of subtraction, I need to factor out a negative 1. Now, I can divide both the numerator and denominator by a minus b. a minus b goes to a minus b one time. a minus b goes to a minus b one time. These numbers are already factored, so I can reduce as usual. I'm going to take the easy way of reducing these. 4 We'll go into 4 one time. 4 goes into 8 two times. I can also divide both numerator and denominator by a squared. a squared divided by a squared is 1. a cubed divided by a squared is a. Now I can divide by b. b divided by b is 1. b cubed divided by b is b squared. Now the reason I could do 4a squared b and 8a cubed b cubed this way is that they're already factored. Notice it's 4 times a squared times b. 8 times a cubed times b cubed. We have no addition or subtraction. It's strictly multiplication. Now I simply write my answer. 1 times 1 times 1 times negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. 1 times 2 times a times b squared is 2a b squared. What about division? Well, you already know how to divide common fractions. And how do we divide common fractions? To divide, one inverts the divisor and multiplies. So if you have 3 fourths divided by 5 eighths, you rewrite it as 3 fourths times 8 fifths. Now you can reduce before you multiply by saying 4 goes into 4, 1. 4 goes into 8, 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 1 times 5 is 5. So my answer is 6 fifths.
the rule for algebraic fractions is exactly the same as the rule for common fractions. To divide algebraic fractions, invert the divisor and multiply. To divide algebraic fractions, invert the divisor and multiply. Well, let's look at an example with algebraic fractions. We have 2x minus 4 divided by x squared minus 9, all divided by x squared minus 4 divided by 3x plus 9. Or we 2x minus 4 over x squared minus 9 divided by x squared minus 4 over 3x plus 9. To divide fractions, the first thing you do is to invert the divisor and multiply. So if we invert x squared minus 4 over 3x plus 9, I have 3x plus 9 over x squared minus 4. Inverting means to take the reciprocal or simply flip it. I did that. Now I have a multiplication problem. Well to multiply, what I want to do is to completely factor all numerators and denominators. 2x minus 4 has a common factor of 2. So I can take out my 2, I'm left with 2 times x minus 2. 3x plus 9 has a common factor of 3. I factor out the 3 to get 3 times x plus 3. x squared minus 9 is the difference of 2 squares. So I factor it as x minus 3 times x plus 3. x squared minus 4 is also the difference of 2 squares. So I factor it as x minus 2 times x plus 2. Once I get everything completely factored, then I try to divide out the common factors. x minus 2 is common to both the numerator and the denominator. So x minus 2 goes in x minus 2 one time, x minus 2 and x minus 2 one time. I can divide both the numerator and denominator by x plus 3. x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 is 1. x plus 3 divided by x plus 3 is 1. We have no other factors in common. So I multiply 2 times 1 times 3 times 1 is 6. And in the denominator I have x minus 3 times x plus 2. Now it's time to give you some more exercises. Perform the indicated operation. The first one, 4a squared b over 2xy divided by ab squared over 4x squared. 2, x cubed minus 8 over x squared plus 3x times x squared plus 5x plus 6 over x squared plus 2x plus 4. Once you've copied the problems, be sure to stop the tape and then work the problems. Restart the tape to check your answers. Here are your answers. If you disagree with either answer, be sure to check with someone. This completes tape 114.